These six guys asked the internet on how to look more like K-pop stars. This is what the internet said. I don't know, maybe it helps you too. Let's talk about it. Yeah, I mean, this is a classic debate on Asian American male internet right now. Andrew, should you be Kevin Wynn? Or should you be K-pop? And we got to talk about it because uh, these six guys, they came to the internet for help. And I'll tell you this, they spit out a ton of advice. Um, so make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. But you know what else is another piece of advice? Smala Sauce. Check it out. Makes every meal more delicious. Uh, Smalasauce.com. So I guess, David, is, uh, is this the right question? Like, I guess... I'm assuming these guys are non-Korean, or even if you are Korean but don't look like a K-pop star, you still might be asking this question, how do I look like the trendy K-pop K-drama guys? Is this the right question? Is this a fair question? Is it stupid? Uh, I think it is a question that probably indicates that you don't have a super high IQ for whatever you're trying to achieve, right? Because it's not just and haircut it's not just buying a moisturizer off amazon isn't it a bunch of things mm. i'm sure those k-pop guys andrew are thinking about their looks 50 times a day right now is the goal of all this to get more attention from women or some of these guys just want a new look it's most guys do things for women yeah i feel like when when you talk about looks you're look you're talking about needing attention from women right and and we'll pop up these six guys we have blanked out some of their features for, you know, privacy reasons. But ultimately, I think this. If you're going to put in a lot of work or money and time into looking different, don't solely do it for women. Here's the issue, because you might get disappointed. If you only, if you make yourself look better and then you go on the apps and you're like, all right, I'm going to get all these better matches and women are going to look at me differently. And then the results aren't exactly what you want and what you expect. You're going to be disappointed. So you have to do it also for yourself and your self-esteem and know that you're doing it just to look more cleaned up and respectable. That's all. You have, that's why you look better. Not just only for women. That's just part of it. Okay, I think that also everybody beyond new hair, Andrew, their skincare, probably cutting your body fat percentage, new fashion, new accessories, and just being able to embody a whole different male archetype in your life, right? <laughs> you, did you just say like, be a completely different person? But I'm just saying it's like when people are posting these these pictures on Reddit, I don't know if they know what is going to go into what their desired image of themselves is going right, to be. Right, 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 like, right. Like, I don't know if everybody knows what goes into a house renovation. All right, let's, uh, let, we'll talk more, but let's start with the first case, David. All right, so this is the first guy right now. Um, looks, you know, I guess has some like already modern haircut, uh, right? Yeah, so he kind of got the skinny body, skinny neck. Uh, you know, he kind of has a good head of hair. He's already got the split cut, but it's probably not styled right now. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess he's working with something. I don't know. Is he tall? Is he short? Here is what, uh, the guys on the forum came up with through AI. This is him K-pop maxed right now. Mm, I could see. I mean, obviously they kind of changed his face a little bit, cleaned it up, <clears throat> but they adding the glasses and styling the hair differently would honestly just help. Yeah. I think that if this guy put in a lot of work to looks max and it wouldn't just be a haircut, he could end up looking like this final AI outcome. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, Possibly. I would say it's possible. All right, moving up. We got case number two, Andrew. This one, I'm not going to lie, it might be kind of a tough one. Why? Why is this tough? Because I just don't know what this guy's working with in terms of just the, I don't know, just the roundness of his head. But he is six feet tall. Six feet is working with something. Right. So here's how he uh, looks K-pop max. But a lot of guys in the comment section were just saying, you're skinny fat. So the main thing for you is to become unskinny fat. And then he was like arguing with a bunch of people about how much he needs to do. And basically someone was like, Lo, look, I'm going to talk to you. You're like, like you're my little nephew. You are in for a rough time if you don't change a buff bunch of things. Mm. Um, How much of it is like just the desire to change Dude, that, I, that, that I, like strong you know that robot vacuum willpower you're a high-end robot vacuum you're just gonna clean the crib no matter what no how many chairs or carpets listen, you run into if you weren't born with certain cards and you did not spend a lot of your life focusing on this type of stuff you are behind that doesn't mean you can't do it though like you you can do it everybody here all these guys are young enough everybody's within range they can do something but you have to want it 
and you can't make excuses. And I know this sounds like some, you know, just your typical motivational stuff of David Goggins. Don't make excuses. You don't got to be David Goggins, but you, if you take 1% of David Goggins, you're going to still do something. You know what I mean? So you just have to want it bad enough and you have to focus and you have to try different things out. But of course, nowadays, with the amount of knowledge and information that we have, that is even specialized to you guys. Listen, guys. I don't know if you guys care that we're talking about you, but we're literally talking about you. We're literally trying to give you advice right now along with the entire internet. So hopefully this just helps more people. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, also, I think this guy could move to Asia when he gets older too. He does everything and then Bro, moves to Asia. six feet in Asia is different than six feet in America. I'll say that. That's true. Let's move on to our third case over here. This guy was like, man, what should I do with my hair? He's already kind of got like uh like a masculine jawline. Yeah, this guy's yeah, like already yeah, buff. Kinda. Yeah, he looks kind of like a you know a frat Asian frat guy I've I've met before. You know, right? But he definitely needs to get more haircuts more often. This is how he would look with AI. Mm, so okay. basically, the big debate was: should this guy go with the AZN Kevin Win look, or should he go with a little bit of a K-pop? type of perm or a hybrid? Uh, that's a good question, but either way, I'm surprised they didn't change his glasses. That's a good point. You say I would swap those glasses, bro. I'd swap them. That's my take on this. Look in the LASIK as yeah, well? Yeah, dude, look, clearly you're like a fit guy. You got some muscle on you. You're kind of athletic. Um, you have some decent hair. Uh, and when I mean decent hair, you have like a decent amount of hair. Listen, at the end of the day, you need hair to work with. Okay, if you have no hair, you have nothing to work with. Let's be honest. All right. So, yeah, I would say swap the glasses. I think when you're deciding between more of a Kevin Wynn look or you even if you're going super extreme, they call it hood maxing or all the way to a hybrid approach, all the way to super soft boy K-pop maxing. You got to think about what can you accurately pull off? Mm. It's not just about what's trending at the moment. It's can yeah. you embody it, that yeah. archetype, even from a personality standpoint, from a fashion standpoint, and of course, from a visual aesthetic standpoint. Yeah, if you're not into anything K-pop and you never liked it and that's not your lane, then then I don't think you have to pick it. You know why it, I like the AZN Kevin Wynn look, though? Because you can actually train a $10 Chinatown barber to give you somewhat of a Kevin Wynn haircut. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not yeah. saying the fade is going to be super excellent or anything like that, but you can get there better than a K-pop cut from a $10 barbershop. Right. Um, fourth case, we have this guy right here. He's posting himself uh, a couple photos when he had longer hair. Now here's his shorter hair. And he, guys, uh, he goes, guys, what should I do? And here's the truth, man. I, I got to break it down and be super real with this guy. That The photos where this guy had longer hair, Andrew, his hairline is not as receded as his later photos where he's buzzed it. Yo, yo. Uh, first of all, this totally looks like somebody that we know or that we've met before. Um, yo, grow your hair out, man. I'm not feeling this short hair. I'm not feeling the buzz cut. Yeah, and, and I, not, that does makes no sense to me. Well, if I think you, that's a common tactic to try to combat a receding hairline. No, right? but if you have, then you got to shave it bald. Here's the thing: if you have a receding hairline, you're gonna go short hair. You have to understand that when it go, it's short hair, everybody sees the receding hairline. When you have long hair, you can kind of cover it up. Right, you could uh, pull yeah, it to the comb front. it up over a little bit, or it just hangs over. It kind of leaves a little shadow on your hairline. But, yo, if you're going to cut it short, you got to cut it bald because I can see your entire hairline. It looks like you just joined the military. And, like, maybe for you, that's not the look you're going for. Yeah, you know I hate I mean? to see this on Reddit when people post the glow down. But sometimes it happens in no, life. No, I think guys. he got buffer. It almost looks like he got buffer, but then shaved his hair. Grow the hair out. Don't have the cut off sideburns right now. Just let them kind of grow into a little, keep them natural. And uh, I think for you, if you got the hairline going backwards and you're not going to, you know, get like a hair transplant or something, you got to uh, grow it out. Wear a hat too. Yeah, wear hey, a hat. Man, I wear hats all the time. Um, the fifth case here, Andrew, is this guy. Basically, he's like, what should I do with my hair? I also have a receding hairline, but I, I'm doing okay. I'm like, he's pretty much married. He's got the non-Asian wife, but he's just like, what should I do? So a lot of people suggested that he get a more Asian haircut where he sweep the bangs over the front. And even though I think it looks better, it, he said that doesn't feel like me. It doesn't feel like an archetype I can embody. Get your hairline back, man. Get it back. Yeah, that's, I think that I think that that's like one of the harsh realities is just like when you have a receding hairline, 
you got to do something. Like, listen, I want to tell you that, that if you got a receding hairline, if you talk to all the experts on the internet, it's not coming back. It's not coming back. You're saying even if I microblade it and I get finisteride or whatever. I don't care. You put that little light helmet on. I highly doubt it. It might stop it from going worse. Slow it. But you can't reverse. The, there's only one way to reverse. I know somebody who turn bought back the that $4,000 LED helmet. He said it was like the worst purchase he ever made because it didn't do anything. Bro, light? Light, just light? Are you crazy? How does that work? It's not grass, guys. Yeah, I'm sure it maybe had like a 1%, 2% effect, but it's like not enough. You know what um, I mean? Let's move on to our sixth case. This guy was like, yo, what should I do? Um, some people said that I have a weird head shape. Yeah, yeah, I would say he does. Um, this is what, with AI, they gave him the Stephen Chow? Yeah, actually, he looks the best as a Mongolian Stephen Chow. Or like a Mongolian sheep herder, Stephen Chow. Yeah, yeah. That, I, that was easily his best look. Like, he could be in like a for rock For him, band. listen, yeah, I think it's going to be working out. It's going to be, yeah, because hair just has a lot to do with your face shape. Hair makes your face look different, right? Because it adds like kind of a shape and dimensions to it. So I would definitely say grow out his hair, I guess. But also... Uh, just I think he got to smile more because I think this is a terrible picture of him. He looks super drab and like depressed. Like he got a, maybe he has a, a some some people have a resting frown face. To be honest, some guys do. That's true. It happens. I just would so. say that he should wear leather jackets and go for a rocker look. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, with the long hair. Yes. Yo, so he looks like this guy from the Hong Kong band Beyond. Yes, the lead singer. So think about it. You just went from. Sheep farmer in Nerungungu to the singer of Beyond. Uh, he looks like a scholar, definitely. Like, he definitely looks like he's on the computer a lot. So, I think it's a lifestyle change and, like, also a vibe change. Like, you just right. got to smile more. You know, I heard, I got to check the, the, the source on this, but smiling takes less muscle than frowning does. Mm, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of these guys, so they just brightness have to see your face. I think a lot of these guys, they just haven't gotten the bro coaching. That's why they're going to the internet to get it. And uh, I think a lot of the internet advice is sound, but ultimately it's going to come down to execution. I think that there's generalized advice, but then there's also advice that's like very specific person to person. Yeah, man. I, I Dude, I'm hopefully us weighing in helped them because think about it, guys. We're like, we're just, and we're going to have a whole comment section about you guys too. So at least you can take feedback from there. You know what I mean? So, hey, listen, guys, hopefully this is an inspirational post. And um, yeah, like we said, a lot of people, they, they're, they're all at different starting points when they go to the internet for help. And, you know, at the very least, the internet advice, whether you take it or not, or agree with it or not, it stimulates your mind. And remember, this is my own personal advice. When you glow up and you put in all this work and you get this skincare, you do the workouts, you eat a little differently, you try to smile more, you practice in the mirror, practice smiling more, uh, practice talking more, right? Get Break your own routine. Once you do all that, just understand that your expectations are going to be very high, but you need to manage your expectations because the world doesn't work like that. You can put in 50 units a measure of effort, but you don't necessarily get 50 plus points back mm. in exchange. That's not how right. it works. You're saying 50 units of measure, Andrew, do not, does not necessarily translate to 50 units of pleasure. It's not a, yeah, it's not a one for one exchange rate with effort and point bumps. You might have to put in 50 because you're behind. You put in 50 just to get a 15 plus return. That's just what it is. So that's what I'm saying. Don't only do it for the matches on your dating apps. Like you have to just do it for yourself and know that you're doing it for your future. Setting yourself up. It's a long game. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of the advice uh, in the comment section below on these six different cases. And until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.